My name is Catalyn de la Fuente, and my dream has always been to interview people from around the world. Some of our guests you may know, and others we can get to know together. Join us on our journey to learn more. This is Worldwide Cat. Archaeologists believe that the earliest known species of shark dates back over 420 million years, making them older than dinosaurs. Today, there are over 500 types of sharks living on this planet. In this episode, we head to Jupiter, Florida, home to some of the largest shark migrations in the world. There we meet with the shark addicts, Cameron Nimmo and Mickey Smith, a duo who have made swimming with sharks a hobby and advocating for their protection a passion. They don't use cages or armor, it's just them and the sharks. How exactly do they go about this? Let's find out directly from them. Walk me through a typical dive day. Typical dive day, we wake up around 6 a.m., load up the car full of the gear, walk outside, he's weighing out there for me. Get our tanks filled and all that, check them, make sure they're analyzed properly. Get to the marina about 7.30. Usually we have this bait guy there, Louie, that comes and gives us uh, the bycatch, pretty much bonito is what we want. And then I make this guy set up all my stuff because I'm dealing with the fish. So he helps me out a lot. Leave the marina about 8.30. It's about 45 minutes until we get in the water from when we left. We usually hit a group of wrecks in Jupiter called the Jupiter Wreck Trek. The three wrecks in a row, and on the very north wreck, the third one, we feed the sharks at the stern of the wreck at the back. So how does it feel when you guys are down there? No matter what is on your mind, right when you hit that water, it just all goes away. You're just in our element. Where Care we carefree. You're basically, you float to the bottom, so you just have your arms out. It's like, you know, you're Like you're flying. skydiving almost, just dropping in. Okay, so walk me through this. You guys get together on a Saturday morning. You get all your gear together, you get on a boat. How far out do you go? You have to be three plus nautical miles offshore to be able to feed sharks legally. It's illegal to feed in state waters, which Randy helped push that law back in 2001. Randy Jordan, a mentor to Cameron and Mickey, is the captain of Emerald Charters. Together, they help sharks both in and out of the water. Clearly, you guys are heading to the same spots. Do you ever see the same sharks? A lot of the sharks have unique markings and cuts on them and scrapes, so you can identify them by that. Like one of the tiger sharks that came in, we named her Alice, but she had shipping shrink wrap wrapped around her body, and it was cutting into her skin, and she had open wounds. And Randy was able to cut it off of her, and now she's been a residential tiger shark. Which ones would you say are the most friendly to you guys? The sharks that we see most often are probably the lemon sharks. They come around the most, and it's not that they're friendly, they're just curious to see what's in the bait box, what the smell brings them in. So, so what's the deal with rubbing their noses? All sharks have a sensory organ. At the very front, they look like small dots. They're called ampullae of Lorenzini. And when, when you interrupt the senses that they're getting, it almost puts them in like a paralyzed type of state. These sharks have different personalities, really. Some are shy, some like the nose rubbing. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Some sharks, we consider them dangerous. They're just, it's not that they're aggressive, they're, they move real fast, they come to debate quick, they're not taking their time, they're really excited. And you know, we'll look at each other and go like this, like, that's a dangerous shark, you know, watch that specific one. Other ones, sometimes they'll circle a long time before they even come close, they're really shy. And so there's some that you're a little bit more careful with and you guys warn each other and watch yeah, each other. Pay attention to them. So people are petrified of sharks. Clearly it's not the case with you guys. Can you guys explain why we're scared and you're not? People just have the wrong idea of how sharks act in, in nature. They think that you, know, you see a shark, he's gonna come up to you and 
and instantly bite you. And that's not what sharks do. They're cautious animals. They're not going to come right up to you. They they want to see what you if you have some food, but if you don't, they're just going to swim away. So all these films portray them to be killers, and and you guys are here to say that that's not true. Definitely. Ever since Jaws came out, after that, everybody and their mother wanted to go shark fish and kill sharks, and everybody just got the wrong information. So we're trying to show the true information, the correct information, because education leads to conservation. One more person that likes sharks will want to help sharks by signing petitions to stop the calling and shark fishing and just get laws changed. So are people coming around? You know, trying to teach people that sharks, uh, that we need to save them is always gonna be an uphill battle. Every second, three sharks are killed. Every hour, we kill 11,417 sharks. And every year, we kill 100 million sharks. And for no reason. And you guys are here to change that? Yes. They need our protection. Would you guys dive with a great white shark? In a heartbeat. Definitely. What about alligators? Definitely I definitely is. want to. We have some friends that do it. Is there anything that you wouldn't dive with? Bears. If a bear <laughs> could scuba dive, or if a bear's in the water, I want to dive with it. We want to feed right. it. We just fell in love with it. I mean, it hit us and we, we got hooked. Ever since then, we dive every weekend. You know, unless there's huge waves, giant hurricane coming, really nothing keeps us out of the water. Visibility doesn't matter for us, conditions, whatever. If there's sharks there. That's what we're there for. I'm not saying I'm going to dive with sharks anytime soon. But if I'm going to go, these are the guys I'm going to go with. To keep up with Cameron and Mickey, look for Shark Addicts on social media. I know I will. Thanks for watching. Now, does everybody understand that we're going to see some sharks today? OK, so it's real easy. If you don't want to see sharks, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs>